Hey everyone, thank you for listening to our Nutrition Jobs Career Insights and I'm super excited today uh, to um, offer an amazing guest who has a very unique job and I can't wait to introduce her to you and for her to share all of her knowledge with you. I'm Stacy with Nutrition Jobs and welcome Julie Rule. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm delighted to have you, I'm super honored to have you actually. Uh, Julie and I met online. She is one of my newsletter subscribers and has a very, very interesting job. She connected with me. We connected with each other to be able to share with you all about her career and career in dietetics. And she's got a very unique job, and I can't wait for her to share that with you. So, Julie, do you mind just giving a little bit of background about uh, where, how you sort of came to the profession as a, as a dietitian? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Stacey. So I've been a dietitian for over 20 years, coming up on 25, I think, which is crazy to think about. Um, when I started college, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, I was taking a lot of different courses to get some ideas. I actually took an aptitude test, if anybody remembers those. And it said I should be a nurse. And I was like, oh, I'm a little afraid of blood. So let me look at some related careers. Um, nutrition was one of the careers that was offered at the, the college that I was, or one of the majors that was offered at the college I was attending. And I started taking some introductory classes and just found it so interesting. And since the first nutrition class I took, that is exactly what I knew I wanted to do with my career. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I knew right away as well. So that was kind of like a nice nice, um, uh, you know, the sense of uh, like accomplishment that you know what you want to do so you can go on that path. So that's fantastic. I was looking at your LinkedIn profile and super, super impressed with all the jobs that you've had, all the different type of work you had, but it's sort of been in one sort of category, I would say. It's very, that's very unique. Uh, can you tell everybody where you are working currently with the company and what your role is? Yeah. So I actually work for an app, a healthy app called Go Coco. Um, my role with them is nutrition expert, and I feel like I combine a lot of the skills I've learned in my nutrition career over the last 20 years in this role. I've actually spent a good amount of time in roles that combine both marketing and nutrition. Um, so for about the last 12 years before GoCoCo, I've worked for healthier CPG, consumer packaged goods companies, working in both nutrition roles and marketing roles. Um, I just kind of fell into the marketing on top of my nutrition roles. One of a manager 12 years ago asked me if I wanted to start learning about some marketing and it kind of started as brand education, uh, which is something us RDs are pretty good at educating. And I said, yeah, absolutely. And I started learning about in-store demos, event management, um, and then the world has shifted a lot more digital in the last 12 years. So a lot of the marketing things I've been learning over the last 12 years have also taken more of a digital turn with SEO and content online and things like that. And I've taken all of that knowledge that I've had and have really been able to help go Coco on sort of both sides of things, both nutrition and marketing. I do a lot of I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, this, this is fascinating. I think what's interesting, uh, something I, I want to think about a little bit more, maybe talk about, was uh, I heard that you had a manager, maybe it was a mentor or manager or somebody who was needing some help or wanted to help you along the way mm -hmm. and who suggested or offered going into marketing. So I think that's yeah. that's like a really interesting pivotal thing, right? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't like you were going after that. It was yeah. that you were trying to meet the needs and that person sort of helped you or mentored you. Is that would you say? Yeah, absolutely. Um, she is a fantastic woman that we're still in touch to this day, even though we no longer work together. Uh, we were working for a company and I was hired as a clinical nutritionist for a CPG company. Um, and she really saw the need for some additional marketing help, thought like my education skills could come in handy. And, you know, she did. She really did take me under her wing and, and mentored me. And I learned so much from her in that role. And I'm, I'm still very grateful to her to this day for that. Wow. That is, I love, I love that story. That is awesome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the company that you're currently at? It's Go Coco. Can you yes. tell us about that? 
I would love to. So Go Co Co is actually based in Barcelona, Spain. Um, that's where it started, but it's been in the U.S. for almost a year now. Um, so it is an app where there's a free version. You can download it, open up your uh, app on your phone when you're at the supermarket or in your pantry, and you can scan any food item with a barcode. There's over 700,000 foods in our database, and it scores it from one to 10, one being the least healthy and 10 being the most healthy. And it's rated on three different scales. So the, uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, um, there's something called a NOVA scale for ultra processing. And then it's also based on the Chilean food warning systems. So it has three scientific um, factors that go into determining the score of a food. And if it has added sugars, added a lot of added salt, saturated fat, or a lot of ultra processed ingredients, that's going to cause the, the food to get a lower score. Um, it's actually fun. <laughs> so I was gonna say, it sounds like fun to use, right? Yeah, like you just gotta go around like your to house. <laughs> I've scanned everything in my house, yes. Right. <laughs> and kids like to do it too, because it's, it's it's fun. It's almost like a game. Um, I think the best thing about, one of the best things about the app is that not only does it give you the food a score, but it also gives you some healthier alternatives. So if your food doesn't score very high, it'll give you some food ideas in the same category that have a better score. Um, there's also lessons in the app written by dietitians, myself and the other dietitian with the company. Um, there's recipes. So there's a lot of access to, uh, to healthier lessons and things as well. So we're not just trying to alarm you and alert you and say this food is unhealthy. We're also, the whole, the whole um, mission of the company is to empower consumers to make healthier food choices. I love that, just informing them. I think, it, I think that's always nice, right? Like you can be informed that you've got a whole cart full of ultra processed foods, or you can say, you know, like just scan your cart and say, oh, I see that there's, you know, like maybe 10% or 15% uh, mm -hmm. of what's in my car or half of it or a quarter of it is maybe ultra processed, but I've got some other healthy stuff in there. I like how you can, I, I like whenever the consumer can be um, educated or just informed, you know, you can make your decision about what to do with that information. But as long as you're informed, I think that's great. What a, what a fun company. What a great job. I heard you yeah. mention there's you and then there's yes. another dietitian. And mm -hmm. where does this, so you're in the U.S., you're actually yes. in Florida. Where yes, is this other dietitian located? She is in Barcelona. That's what I thought you were going to say. Yes. So it's how really, does, yeah. It's how so does that work fun. working with her? It's great. It's fun to work with an international team. Um, you know, we obviously share a lot of nutrition uh, principles with other countries, but it's also interesting to hear like what might be different in Spain than it is in the U.S. And it's great to have both of us working on things together to really kind of develop such a well-rounded algorithm for scoring the foods and the, the lessons that we create and the recipes and things. It's, it's a lot of fun to work with an international team. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. That sounds um, really fun. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to be wondering if they are hiring more dietitians, and so we'll, we'll keep them posted on that. Um, can you tell us what a sort of a day in the life of Julie is? What, what's it like, uh, you know, sort of day by day? What, what, what types of tasks and duties and projects do you work on? Yeah, a big project of mine right now is partnerships. So we are trying to spread the word about Go Coco. Um, like I said, it's relatively new to the United States. So we're reaching out to organizations that might have some of the same values as us. And one thing that we very recently launched is, we believe it's the first of its kind, it's a diabetes alert. So we, we noticed we had a lot of um, users who had type two diabetes and we thought, how can we help them even more? So we put together an algorithm of if a food is high in processed carbohydrates, if it's high in added sugars, if it's low in fiber, if it's high in saturated fat, um, and somebody selects that they do have a type of diabetes, um, they can they will get a diabetes alert on products that that fit those those criteria that I mentioned. Um, so I've been reaching out to a lot of partners in the diabetes space. We have some great meetings set up. I mean, our goal is really just to get this app in front of as many people as possible to be able to help, like I said, consumers make healthier food choices. So partnerships is a really big part of my role. 
Um, I also get to attend and speak at different conferences and things. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yes, that is exciting. Um, you know, I, I get to help create some of the lessons that are in the, uh, in the app, something that, you know, a lot of dietitians do is create content. Um, I've helped create some of our social media ads and strategy. Um, so it, every day is a little bit different too, which I think is something that makes it really exciting. That really does appeal to me, especially coming from my background of doing both nutrition and marketing for the last several years. I do like this a little bit of one day doesn't ever look like the next. That's so typical, I think, in an unconventional job is it's a, it's not a, there's not a, a specific path every day. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of different projects people work on. Uh, who do, how do you know what your day is going to look like? Do you structure your day or do you report to somebody that will structure what projects need to get done in a certain deadline or how does that actually work when you're in marketing? Yeah, so I, I report to the co-founder of the company. Um, we work pretty closely together. We kind of you know, I have goals and objectives. So I sort of set up how my week is going to look to be able to reach those goals and objectives uh, with input, obviously, and, and reporting back on KPIs and things, which is important to show that we're getting some results from what we're doing. Um, but the most part, it's, it's sort of up to me to, to set my week uh, within the parameters of what I should be working on. You said something interesting. You said your KPIs and those are key performance indicators. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always a huge proponent of having dietitians be able to document their successes and to uh, make sure that they're sort of looking at the outcomes of what they're doing, whether it's giving a talk, maybe to how many people you're giving it to, um, maybe what the satisfaction level was, how many stars you got on average, um, and then looking at your KPIs. Like, is that something that is uh, related to your performance evaluation and your income or how does that work? Yeah, it's definitely related to my performance evaluation and, you know, showing that I have value and, and should continue on working at the company, it's, it's important to me to show them that I'm extremely passionate about this company as well. And I'm, I'm doing everything I can to, to get it out there in front of people. And, um, I use it myself, honestly, I, like I said, I think it's fun. Um, so I, I think that I agree with you that KPIs are really important. And as dietitians, it's really important for us to track that and be able to show companies, especially more unconventional companies, you know, here's, here's how we're valuable. How, here's how we bring value to your organization. So I, yeah. I agree with you. I think it's yeah, really like, important. Here's your impact. Here's how you're mm -hmm. valuable. And this is why you should continue to employ me or give me a promotion or increase my compensation, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. tell, I'm, I'm so curious, how did you actually get the job? So you found, you found the job opening or you had the job opening. How did you actually, what was the interview process? Like, how did you apply? Yeah, I actually found it on LinkedIn. So, you know, I encourage dietitians to use LinkedIn and other sources like your site for uh, fantastic job opportunities. And I just, it like I said, it just really kind of resonated with me as something that kind of combined a lot of the skills that I've, I've had in the past. And I applied for the position. I interviewed over um, some technology, Zoom or Skype or something um, <laughs> with the with the co-founder and then the other co-founder. And I think we really sort of hit it off right from the start. And um, I think they could tell how passionate I was about the company and the products. And I, I think that was really helpful. And yeah, I've been really happy working here um, for a little over six months. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you mentioned you found the job on LinkedIn. One thing I liked about LinkedIn is that with a job opening and your LinkedIn profile, you can see a skill match or a mm -hmm. mismatch. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about your skill set. What skills do you have? What have you developed uh, to be successful in your job? Or just talk, talk to us about your skills. Yeah, I mean, I think um, connecting with people is a big skill that a lot of us as dietitians have. And there's a lot of different ways that that can come across. That can be with our clients or patients that we see one-on-one -on -one or in group settings. That can be with uh, partners. That can be at events. That can be speaking on camera for any opportunity. Um, so communication, I think, is our really big skills for dietitians to make sure that they're practicing on. Um, unless maybe you're a research dietitian and you don't need to do as much communication, but for a lot of us, communication is, is pretty important. So I encourage dietitians like maybe that are 
in college to take a communications course or something along those lines to just kind of have those skills in the background. And then for me personally, like the, the marketing component that I was able to, to learn over the last few years has been incredibly helpful in working for a company like this to be able to have some social media knowledge and content management knowledge. Um, and also I, I've actually worked on an app before. So this is my second app. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, that was like really probably great lineup of uh, skills. Yeah. 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 I actually helped, um, was part of a team that was developing an app for um, parents to be able to chat about nutrition. Uh, so that was part of a different company. And I was part of the team that developed that app and kind of had a lot of input as to how it looked and what went on with it. So randomly, I have two app experiences as a dietitian. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I love that you mentioned communication because I think you're right. Uh, being able to connect with people, talk to them one-on-one -on -one or in groups. Um, I think that's, that's an inherent part of our education. Uh, there may be some people that don't, don't really um, feel comfortable doing that or don't have the confidence doing that. You are super easy to talk to in, in all of our communication ahead of this interview, like super responsive, very, very engaging, very warm. Um, how, how do you recommend, aside from taking courses, how do you recommend that dietitians um, feel more confident in their communication or just more confident in their, in their jobs? First of all, thank you and same to you. <laughs> um, I would say practice, right? So the first time you do something like this, you might feel pretty nervous and I think that's normal. Um, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. So there's, there's nothing like practice. Um, you know, if you, I don't know if people, you know, want to do like role-playing with a coworker or a colleague to get more comfortable. That's one strategy. Uh, and just jumping at any opportunities, like it's okay to feel a little bit out of your comfort zone sometimes. So if somebody offers you, if you're working for a company and they say they need somebody to attend a conference and speak, and maybe that's not something you really want to do, but you're kind of interested, I would say jump, go for it. Give it a try because you never know. You might love it. You don't know what will come out of it. Um, it's a good chance to gain some experience. And it's just, it's great to continue to expand our skill set uh, and become even more valuable as dietitians. I think you're so right about just saying yes to something you're feeling uncomfortable about because oftentimes you're, you're not going to practice this on your own. You might try to do videos or you might try to do something to, but if there's not a deadline or there's not the cliff to jump off, like you're just not going to do it. So yeah, exactly. I love that. Just say yes. Just, just sort of insert yourself or just feel uncomfortable for a little bit. It's sometimes it's, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It doesn't last forever. There is an end point. And I just imagine all of the, all of the experience, the skills that you got out of that brief experience, I think is really, really great advice. Um, another question I have for you is, uh, as you know, I also run dietitiansalaries.com and a lot of dietitians are dissatisfied with their salary or dissatisfied with their compensation. And what's, what's your perspective on that? And how do you think that dietitians could be um, earning more as a profession? You know, I think that's a very good question. And I think one of the things that you and I spoke about is, is one of the best things you can do is to keep track of those KPIs and keep track of the worth that you are bringing to the company. So if you're bringing in clients, if you're bringing in partnerships, you know, some companies do reward you for that. If you're working for like a nutrition counseling company and you bring in your own clients, you know, they might have a referral link or something like that. So make sure you're really taking advantage of those opportunities to get some extra um, income as a dietitian. Um, I think just, again, keeping track of what you're doing and what you're bringing to the role is a really good way to say to the manager. And I also strongly believe in you have to stand up for yourself and you have to ask for what you think you're worth. You know, they managers might not be thinking about how long you've been there and how you feel that you deserve an increase. So it's, it's kind of up to you to kind of keep track of those things and, and bring them up to them. And when you do go into those kind of meetings, be really well prepared. Um, so if you are documenting throughout the year or the quarter, all the successes you've had, then you can share that with the manager and say, you know, here's, where we are now, here's what I've done, here's where I think I should be, here's the industry average, and your your website does kind of help with that also. 
Oh, yeah. Thank you. I uh, really believe in people being able to keep work journals, whether it's weekly or monthly of sort of keeping track of successes that you've had over the month or keeping track of projects you've had. You can add that to your resume, of course, but they're great talking points for performance evaluations. And I think I think you, what you also said, too, is, you know, giving it to your uh, your manager or whoever is in charge. Maybe it's an HR, whoever mm -hmm. is in charge of your your performance evaluation. They're super busy. Like they have mm -hmm. so much on their plate. It's not that they're ignoring you. It's not that they don't like you. You're in charge of your own success. They, you might get this amazing mentor or person who's like really your advocate. But really, we're, we're in charge of our own success and being able to communicate our successes so I think I think that's really really great and just like this ongoing documentation of what you've done because it's really hard to remember when you were we're all very busy in our day-to-day -day lives but if you keep track of it on a routine basis I think that's really great so I have I have one of those I'll include that in the in the notes uh, for our, our talk here too but that is the work journal for dietitians and uh, people can get that as a free template Julie, you gave us so much really, really great tangible information. I think that was super, super helpful. Um, anything else you want to add or how dietitians can be as successful as you? <laughs> well, I have a lot of experience for one thing, almost 25 years. So I would say, you know, as a younger dietitian starting out, look for some of these unique opportunities. Um, I did work in clinical for two years right out of college. I think that was a really great um sort of foundation for me to have. Um, I'm not saying everybody has to do it, but I do think that having that experience was really valuable for me just to have that knowledge and, and sort of know how. Um, so I, I would say like, don't necessarily shy away from that, even if you know it's not what you wanna do. Like I knew that wasn't long-term what I wanted to do, but I think it helped lead me to where I am now. Um, and then the other thing I wanna just say about go, 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 if that's okay, is just, uh, it's if there's any dietitians out there that are working with clients, it's a great tool that they could use with their clients. And like I said, there is a free version that has a, a ton of the features. Um, so dietitians, check it out. Check it out with your clients. Um, I think it could kind of be a fun teaching tool for for RDs. I think that's really great. I, I agree with you. I think it's a, a, a terrific app. I just learned about it in in uh, in our process of of connecting too. So I'm I'm so glad you shared that with us. Uh, can dietitians connect with you or dietetic students? Is there a great way to reach out to you? Maybe on LinkedIn? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love for uh, RDs or dietetic students to reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, it's just my first and last name. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, I'll have the link um, down below yeah. in, the, in, the, uh, in the notes for you guys too as well. Well, Julie, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're super busy and I am very, very appreciative of all of the insight that you gave us. And I think it's very inspiring. I think it's very inspiring for both dietitians who are seasoned and might be looking to do something different and also uh, new dietitians coming out of the pipe and excited about you know where where their career might take them so thank you so much yes thank you for having me bye for now everyone